If you were to have asked me a year ago before moving to Germany where Liechtenstein is, I would have had no idea. But now we're here for the weekend, so let's see what Liechtenstein is all about. We made it to Liechtenstein. We just crossed the border and our first stop is checking out a castle ruin here in Schellenberg. The hike up to this castle was the easiest hike we have ever taken to a castle ruin. It was so short, it wasn't actually very steep. So it was very easy and Griffin walked the whole way up here. So if he can do it, you can do it too. Do you like the castle? Do you like it? Griffin. Okay, so here in Liechtenstein, we came to a town called Malboon. So Malboon is right on the edge of the mountain, right close to a, uh, a ski resort and a bunch of uh, ski slopes. Uh, but right now it is the end of May, so there's no skiing, uh, but we plan on doing some awesome hiking here. So here in Malboon, we stopped at the tour center, and right above the tour center is this <laughs> Daddy at the bottom. We just absolutely love the playgrounds here in Europe, especially when there's awesome views at the playground. I do think it's better than the one that we went to in Salzburg, and that one was pretty awesome. Okay, so the trail we're gonna do is a 3.3 mile round trip trail. It actually starts right behind the visitor center and the playground here in Malboon. Okay, so this trail that we're doing, you can actually take the ski lift up to the top and then hike down, but the ski lift is closed right now. It opens the middle of June for summer. One thing cool about this hike is that I love all of these alpine flowers. They're really pretty. We're walking along the trail and Lucas spotted these little guys, we think they're marmots. Yeah. We'll look it up. They look like a groundhog. Yeah, they live in a hole. So what's your opinion on the hike so far? I think it's awesome. This is the first uh, alpine hike that we've gotten to do, and the views are just incredible. It's so cool to see all these awesome alpine flowers, the, the mountain peaks, even the snow that's still on some of the mountains is so cool. This was one thing that before coming to Germany, I had like envisioned in my mind of something that I wanted to do is mm -hmm. like see a landscape yeah. like this and be able to hike. Yes, it's amazing. So. It's a little more difficult than we thought, but how many feet are we climbing, you said? Uh, 1,600 feet in yeah. elevation. Yes, in like a three mile span, or we uh, think it's three, it's three miles. miles round trip. Yeah, so it's, it's a climb, that's for sure. We're almost to the top. I'm gonna try and check out a restaurant that's up here. 
like Lucas was saying, this is like something that you always see in movies or just in pictures. And it's so gorgeous. And when you think about moving to Europe, this is what you wanna see. You wanna see this view and you wanna hike it and experience it for yourself. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the top and here's the, the chair lift that you can take during the summertime up to the top. Murray and Griffin are over here on this side. Check this out. I was not expecting this. Crazy. Wow. Look at that. It's like totally different than anything we've seen. It's awesome. A little snowball fight in the middle of May. Ah! We have had this whole trail to ourselves today and it's awesome. It's Saturday and you would think it's pretty busy but we've only maybe met one other group of people on the trail and when you get to do a trail by yourself, it's just so much more special and amazing. I just love that we can drive five hours and be at a place like this. I mean, at home, in Kentucky, to drive five hours anywhere, you wouldn't even get to the beach in five hours, or let alone see something like this. How was the snow? Cold. <laughs> They're like these craters. I see that. They're filled with snow. It's weird. It's like a snow bowl. <laughs> so when you get to the top of the mountain, you can eat at this restaurant and have a beer and eat food. But it's closed today. We had a feeling that it was going to be closed since the chairlift isn't open. But I would love to come back here and do this again with some friends or my parents or anybody that comes and visits us and just come up here and enjoy a drink and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. We're making our way back down to the bottom, but we're going to take this little trail that is gonna take you to a peak over here, another little lookout. And it is starting to get a little chilly. <laughs> I was looking at the weather and it said it's gonna snow in this area tonight. So I'm really glad we did this today. Um, it's not been too bad. It is a little chilly, but not as bad as it could have been in January. I've also been looking for some cows with the little bells. I haven't seen any, so I'm not sure if they haven't brought them out of their barns yet because it is still a little cold here, but I don't know, maybe we'll see them another time. This is the spot we're gonna stop at, but you can hike to that point and that point. And I think you can even hike to that point. Sorry, that point. We're walking back a different way to the little town and we heard something and it's a little goat, a mountain goat. So we've noticed a lot of the houses here are this timber wood and not so much of the traditional German houses with like the concrete and everything. A lot of them are vacant too. So we're wondering if maybe they're just like open a lot during the winter for the ski and maybe they open back up in the summer when things get busier here. But they're really cute and it would be kind of fun to stay in one.
So we started right here at the visitor center, hiked up to the chapel, and then went all the way up to the top of the ski lift, went to this viewpoint right here, and then came back down and went on the panorama trail through Malibu. Back to you. We just got back from hiking the trail. Whew, it was a killer. Um, we did about six and a half miles oh, yeah. since we did a little bit of extra hiking. And I think it would have only been three miles if we rode the sky lift. But since we didn't do that, it made it about six and a half. And we're feeling it. Mm. <laughs> but it was nonetheless, it was a wonderful hike. Super fun. Yeah, it was awesome. The mm -hmm. views were incredible. Everything was just so scenic and so picturesque. Mm -hmm. So yes. next we're going to go check out the Vaduz Castle and then go find a, a place to go eat. We're here at the Vaduz Castle. Um, it is the residence of the prince here of Liechtenstein. He actually does live in the castle, so we're not able to go inside and check it out, but we do get to walk around and see it from the outside. pretty cool to see a castle that a prince lives in because normally all the castles here they're not lived in and so you can go in and see them like the new Schwanstein so this is pretty cool because you know uh, an actual prince lives there okay so like we said before the castle is not open to the public except for one day in August 15th is the national day for Liechtenstein and the prince will open up uh, his castle gardens and the residence for the people of Liechtenstein. They do a big party here uh, to celebrate the country, uh, which this country is the sixth okay. smallest country in the world. All right, well, we're gonna wrap up our time here in Liechtenstein. We had an awesome day. We love this country. We're gonna grab some dinner and we'll see you guys on our next adventure. Like and subscribe. <laughs>